Hey YouTube, um, I'm making this video in order to explain to everyone how to convert the US Canadian Duke 390 turn, um, turn lights relay and uh, into the relay that uh, supports LED lights. So I have stock, absolutely stock housing for the lights, but the bulb itself is actually LED. So um, this, these ones have no resistance inside of them, which I'll cover later, but in any case, it's completely stock. So the only thing you need uh, after you put the LED lights in is you need a special re flasher relay. If you don't have a flasher relay, you have something called a uh, hyper flashing. This bulb flashes too fast and it's actually illegal. So you need to adjust the speed of flashing. And to do that, you actually need to put a different relay. So uh, a relay basically is a electronic device that uh, turns things on and off uh, on the sequence. So here's the example of how it used to work. So this is the original relay, like that. And it was connected through an adapter like this. So two pins here goes to three pins originally, but uh, only the third pin is removed in the middle. So you have only two pins here. And there is an adapter here that it was very hard to find for me, extremely hard. I couldn't, I spent some time to untangle everything to get this out. But in any case, this is the original setup. So um, in my case, this brown wire is the hot wire. It comes from the battery. And the orange wire is the load that is basically the, the output that, that goes to the bulbs themselves. So what you do is you disconnect this because you don't need it. Disconnect that. Just a sec. Yeah, like that. You have relay like that. So this one remains over there. So what I did is just to make sure which wire is hot, you use a multimeter something like this. So what you would do is you set this thing to DCV20. So in my case, it's like this. Sorry, my uh, I'm holding the camera with one hand. So you put it like this, 20 volts DC. And then you take the, basically you take this this red one, and you put it in the, in the brown pin over here, inside there, and then in simultaneously you hold this black one to the ground, which is any bolt, essentially. So you put it like this, and you turn on the key, you turn the key on, and when the key is on, If everything works, you need to, you will see a basically a, an output of 13 volts or 12 volts or whatever volts. It's hard for me to do it, but you get the point. Um, so if you found that 13 volts or 12 volts, uh, 12 something volts uh, on your multimeter, it means this is the wire that comes from the generator or the battery. That's the hot wire. So what you need to do is you need essentially a different relay. So to do this, you go to the Amazon. I bought it on Amazon and you get yourself something really, really inexpensive. So this is called Can, uh, Can FM Flasher Relay. It's hard to see here, but like that. And this is the adapter that I made myself, and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so what you need is, oh, you need uh, a bottle of booze for sure. Mozclamata works. Then you need 
this kind of a um, connector. You can get it for 30 cents from AliExpress. Well, looks like this. Then you need, so it goes like this, you see? And then you need, uh, since this is the male connector, you need like a female connector like this, something like that, but the female connected to here. So it looks like this, right? Also 30 cents at AliExpress. I got this whole bag for 30 cents actually. And so I, there was three wires inside. I took out the middle one to make it exactly the same as, um, you know, as the original. So see, the original was like that. It's the same thing, all right? So I made this adapter very, very simply, taking a wire like this, something like this, uh, you know, stripping the wire here. And then I got myself, got myself a kit like this. This clamping tool and you have you know, different connectors here that's 20 bucks both of them aliexpress bless their soul this is uh, a heat wire so this is a heat protective wire so it's very similar to the heat wire uh, sorry not heat wire heat tape that is uh, used on all the electricals here and inside but in the factory so very important just like that one see that's the heat protective tape so i'm using i bought this one on amazon so not amazon this one is aliexpress as well i think it's like a dollar uh you can have a wider one i picked uh, the one that's too narrow and in the end I, you know i use the tool to clamp the connectors and made this that's it so you put it in you connect it in and uh give me a second let me connect this okay so i connected it and i took the old rubber mounting thing from the old relay i'm going to put it right back in onto that onto that here onto this guy here the metal part here this one that's where it goes and then you basically turn on the the key and check this out look at this look at this it even like on a dashboard it blinks as well both of them blink properly now so you can actually adjust the speed right here by turning this. There's a little thing for the screwdriver. You can turn this to, I think, to clockwise to make it slower and counterclockwise to make it faster, I think. But I think that this is a bit too fast, so I'll make it slower. Anyway, you got the point. And... That's it. This is how you convert, uh, you know, you, this is how you put the LED bulbs. Not LED, I mean, after you put the LED bulbs, this is how you attach a different relay to it. It's a little bit of work. It took me about uh, half an hour, 40 minutes with the drinks. And uh, now I have a fully functional um, LED setup here, so LED flashers. And the thing is, the best part is you don't need any resistors for this. I've seen a lot of YouTube videos we, that, uh, that say that you have to spend a lot of money, like, you know, $60, $70 on like fancy uh, KTM relays, uh, original relays, um, some kind of resistors, special mounting for this, like custom mounts here. No, you don't need all that. Just stock, put LED bulbs, put the proper relay in, 
which is like eight or nine dollars on Amazon. Make your own adapter, 40 minutes of work, 30, you know, 30 minutes if you know what you're doing. I, this was my first time I did this, so. And uh, you got yourself a working setup. That's it.